Hey, welcome back to Tactic Talk with Guido. On this episode, I have poor Ani back, who's an absolute menace in his M4 Tier 5 American medium tank with the derp gun. You can see he's got the two marks on there. Let's see how this goes. What you are about to witness is one of the more unbelievable RNG, series of RNG actions you've seen. Of course, not that one. He ends up missing there, but that'll be one of the few times he does. Pushed up here on El Halouf into the northwest corner, which is pretty much the critical terrain on this map. Got some guys following him up. The M4 is pretty fast. At tier 5, it's decently zippy. Good little medium tier 5 tank. And the derp gun's pretty fun. Really does a pretty good job. Reloads a lot faster than you might think for a derp gun. If it pins, it does quite a bit of damage. Otherwise, it's not too much. But at this tier, even shaving off 50, 60... 100 hit points is going to be quite a bit. The meta at tier 5 can often be goofy. C crossing that spot right where these two guys are crossing, uh, getting up here, stopping, messing around, all that kind of thing can be very deadly at higher tiers. But you'll see that they're able to get away with it down here. They got a Panzer 2J, gets derped by the 1S who's running a, a derp gun. We've got a Sentinel up there, and he bounces off of Porani, which is unbelievable nearly because. We're going to watch him bounce a serious amount of damage for a tier 5 battle. So he's trying to find out where that sentinel is, maybe looking for a shot. But here comes the Hetzer. Uh-oh. And holy cow. Bounces off the Hetzer. And bounces the Hetzer. <laughs> that time, the Hetzer gets hit. Maybe he missed the Hetzer. I'm not sure. But in any event, the Hetzer is now dead. And he's got his first 103 damage. Sentinel's sitting there and misses that one. And you'll notice that Porani has a pretty good technique for just shooting at little edges and pieces of tanks and getting right back to cover, making it very difficult for him to be hit. See the KB-1S and uh, the other tank is up there anchoring the corner to his left, and Porani's looking for a way to get into here. And that's how you beat them as they're camping on this corner. You've got to take this middle area somehow and clear them out. That usually means you've either got to subdue the guys up on this ramp or kill them. We've got a Covenator there. There's a B-1 looking to cross. Pops him, the B1 fires and puts nothing onto Porani, who bounces some more damage, and he is now bounced 845. Two of them being two AP shots from a Hetzer. Holy cow. And then there's this shot. I don't know. Thank you, RNG. But that's what he intended to do, right? He's shooting at the top of the turret. He fires, backs up. RNG does the rest of the job for him but he made it happen by taking the shot in the first place. And this is what I'm talking about as far as winning this critical terrain, taking this middle part, and then starting to work at them. Unfortunately, he's lost his two guys off to his left, so now it's really just him poking around the corner. The B1 put some damage on him right there. That looks like it went through his side armor. And the B1 may actually have trouble without gold even getting in through the front armor, so Parney's hit him a couple times. Just going out just enough to shoot that HE into a part of the tank you can see. And making it very difficult for the turret is mounted on the B1. Even though it's a forward mounted turret, it is quite a bit behind the front of his tank. And Carney's able to use that to his advantage. Hitting the B1 while the B1 can't effectively fire back. Doing this a little bit as well with the KB1. KB1 just fired. Putting shots, popping out and backing up. KB1 just sitting there getting hammered. Holy cow, now the artillery has found Porani. Looks like the grill is over in this area over here, based on where the direction of the shot came from. That's pretty typical. Just out, fire, and back. And man, we're just really picking guys apart now with this derp gun. Just enough to get to him, and back he goes. There's the artillery. Obviously, he got hit by him a little bit earlier, so he does have to watch out for that. It looks like maybe the grill wasn't too far over there based on where I clicked. There, he's last seen right in that area. That may have been a while ago, though, so he, he may have actually moved a bit. A little bit surprised if he was sitting at about C or D8 if he could get a shot on him. It looks like maybe just if he's around the corner too much, so that's interesting. Good to know. You might think you're already safe sitting up behind that rock right there, but clearly we found out you're perhaps not. 
So he's going to come on in here. He's dropped 737 at tier 5. He's bounced 900. The interesting thing about that is a 460 hit point medium. Bouncing 900 damage is essentially like bringing two extra M4s along with you. And using their HP, you know, to keep on trucking. Two lives, if you will, essentially, if you want to equate it to some of the other video game mechanics. Essentially, as he's been able to bounce 900, he's on his third life. Off he goes. Now watch what he does to this AT-2. Very surprising at the great RNG he gets. Actually, he's got to deal with something else first. He's going to come across here and get a little bit surprised by the SAV who's just sitting there, blaps him. Fortunately, that HE shot was able to track the SAV. Once he realizes that, he just stops and says, copy, you're done. Down he goes. Probably lucky, obviously, he didn't get pinned. Had he been pinned, more than likely killed off by that guy. So this is where he does a really nice job. And this is what I was talking about earlier, where he has a good technique of kind of coming in here, just looking for the shot and backing up and off he goes. And that's something you can do with HE, right? Because he's not really looking for a weak spot. What he's looking for is just a chunk of the tank that's a hitbox. And he just finds that, shoots it, and backs on out. And that can be incredibly frustrating to fight against right there. It's not like other tanks where they might be trying to have to aim in on that top thing, on that top hatch. He just has to find a piece of the tank. And remember that when you're firing HE or derp guns, if you do hit weak spots, that's going to do more damage, the less armor obviously there. So shooting lower plates, shooting into hatches, shooting into the sides, things like that are going to just increase your HE damage because the armor that you're hitting is simply less. All right, guys, so I'll be like you saw there, Pirani, nice job. Eight kills, 1,176 1, damage is not a whole bunch, but it's a small tier battle, mid tier, or maybe even slightly low tier if you want to if you want to really get into it because it's a 5-10 battle. 900 blocked and some pretty good technique on the M4 derp gun, guys. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and as always, we will see you.